What's up guys, it's Drak and this arrived at the fan mailbox recently and it is from a company, not a fan necessarily. And so this company reached out and wanted to know if I would be excited to do an early review of these. So these are their Sky Paper Paper Airplane Launchers which claim ranges of up to 100 feet. Powered off of four AAA batteries, it includes 24 planes that you can make yourself, so that's ammo that's easy to come by. Uh, all of the benefits of things like paper shooters in terms of renewable ammo with a little bit of artistry in it in the form of origami. So we have an aerial wing guard, a multi-launch gauge, I don't even know what that means, then a plane loading hinge and a fast action trigger. So it appears... Hmm, I can't tell if this is a launch sled mechanism or what, but we have both colors. There is a stealth black and a, um, they were just on here, just named. We've got glider planes and stunt planes, the paper to make both, four stunt planes and 20 glider planes, and where did it say what colors they came in? Because there was a fun adjective for both. We have storm white and stealth black, so I will, um, Unbox, I think, the stealth black one. That sounds like more fun. This is just an empty uh, Fisher Price retail box, I think, designed to hold all of this in here securely. And then this is a manila envelope. So let's unbox that first. Maybe this is PR information. Maybe it's pre made Drac paper airplanes. It looks like this company, which admittedly, I, I believe I met at Toy Fair, used my business card art to make me some paper airplanes already. They appear to be, hmm, they, they might just be the stunt planes, which will be a ton of fun. So, I mean, that's, that's very flattering that they went to the trouble of making some Drac paper airplanes for me to play with. But let's get this unboxed and let's test its performance. What I care about the most is if it's getting those kinds of ranges. This is, of course, a blaster enthusiast channel, or, I mean, really it's an anything that shoots anything kind of toy channel, but it's more or less just things that I'm interested in as a channel. But here we go. So this is the Sky Paper Stealth Black Launcher inside here. You can see that it does, in fact, come with some almost pre-folded stunt planes, and then these are the high-velocity planes that you can make yourself. The multi-launch feature says that you can put multiple planes in at a time, and you can lift this hinge to insert said plane. So let's relinquish it, get a look at the launcher itself, then we'll go find some batteries, because this is an electronic toy. Karamba, it's getting dull now. Oh no. Might be time, guys. I don't think it's factory new anymore. Crimson web, ha ha ha. There we go. All right, so that is out of there. The batteries look like they're gonna go in the handle, which will redistribute that weight nicely. And then you've got a switch down here, which powers it on, and then a trigger, which will launch the planes. But there's definitely some sort of locking mechanism in here preventing you from doing so. So how are we going to load these? Do they go up and in? I feel like up like so, down like that, and in is probably the way that it's going to happen, and it appears that the launching mechanism itself is some sort of flywheel technology. It doesn't seem like it's a ramp at all, and the flywheels up here are actually very tight and rubberized, and they're gonna grab that paper and fling this forward. But let's go grab some batteries and we'll be right back. So once you get the batteries loaded up, two on this side and two on this side, all you have to do is flip this switch from off to on, and this guy is good to go. Now there is a safety mechanism. This switch here only starts the flywheels when, of course, it detects that there is in fact a plane inserted. Now on this side, you can barely see that there is a one, two, three, four and five, so it wants you to stagger planes as you stack them in, and that's the multi-shot feature. But before we do that at all, I wanna to talk to you kind of about how this lines up the planes and how they move through it. So, like I said, rubberized flywheels at the front are gonna grab this guy and throw it through. We've got the wing guards, which just make sure that the entire plane gets through the system without falling off track or out of balance. Now, again, it's going to start revving as soon as this plane is in its little uh, kind of 
funnel almost, and this automatically flattens those wing tips out. So it is now in. We've got it as far forward as it goes. Now, the one thing that I have noticed is that you must pull deliberately through, because if you kind of half pull the trigger here, it starts to push that plane, but, well, that time it went all the way through. So I guess it's got more zip and circumstance now, but I found that you could jam it by like teasing the plane into the flywheel slowly. It really wants to be thrust powerfully forward, but let's line this one up and let's show you how the Drac plane flies. So. Well, that one went straight down. Luckily, we can show you how the planes fly in quick succession by just loading five of them up at once into the system like that. So this comes up, these go in, it starts its revving process all over again, and we should be able to fit all five in if we just fold them in correctly. I think that we've done it now, so let's shoot uh, the world's first semi-automatic paper plane shooting launching gun type apparatus. So there's one, that's what I was talking about. You can kind of halfway insert these into the flywheel. So let's pull it back. Whee! I'm sure it could get ranges of up to 100 feet, but most of my shots have been about 30 or so. I hate that it winds down unless it's in multi-shot fashion, but... I guess that makes a ton of sense. So let's try three multi shots this time and one plane, two planes, three planes. And again, not getting those ranges claimed, but it's such an unorthodox ammunition. It is just very, very amusing, very different and priced pretty reasonably for what it is. If you want to pick one of these up, I'll put a link to the website down in the description box below. But that was kind of wild. That was like a trick shot. These are, of course, I think trick planes, so they're not necessarily designed for the distance, but they are doing some wild stuff. What if we just fire this one straight up? Huh. Well, with an angled shot, the trick plane went uh, more or less straight and then in a very forward direction. So let's load three more up. Three seems to be the magic number. I know that you can fit more in for the multi-shot madness, but I'm not going to fool with it. That guy spun. Another one. They really want a helix recently. And a triple flip and crash. So that's my review of the PPL-1 or the high velocity paper plane launcher one. Reminds me a lot of the FDL-1 type nomenclature. But it's a fun toy and it's interesting and it's definitely doing something new. And the only thing that I have to say about the company is that they were nice enough to make custom planes for me. So that was uh, very flattering, very humbling, very fun. And it made it really easy for me to get this review out to you guys. So I kind of like this product and the company behind it. I think that they're doing something very different and they're doing a pretty good job of it. If I wanted to design a gun that shot paper airplanes, I probably wouldn't come up with anything this cool. It's a, it's a goal that I didn't know anybody had, but these people definitely hit the nail on the head. So thank you very much for watching. That is the PPL1 by Skypaper. Hopefully you guys enjoyed.